Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light. Today is Thursday, January 19th. Hope everybody is doing well. Let's see what today's message is from Spirit, what the cards want to show us. Thanks to everybody who has liked my videos. Appreciate it. Oh, don't want to do that card. I'll wait for it. Oh, one fell out. Let's see get that one wants to come out. Get one more here, please. This one. Put in this order. All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles. I saw him yesterday, I believe. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So did you make that choice yesterday? Did you make that choice? I told you I was choosing peace so that I could move forward on my journey. Make a choice to live that, that spectrum, that, that life to go on your journey. Um, make a choice to bring you harmony. The Six of Cups is about harmony, um, reciprocation. It's um, really enjoying the fruits of your labor, really enjoying life with each with another. It's uh, relationship harmony as well. This Knight of Cups in reverse. This guy always wants to find that. Like I see this card as the 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 true love, the the card that has you know wants the true love. It's in reverse, and the reason why is because this guy's looking for true love outside of himself. He's looking for the answers outside of himself when it comes to love and emotions and feelings and it's all ready with inside of us so when we choose peace and we choose to harmonize our relationship with ourself we then can overcome the idea or the conditioning that love is outside of ourself when it's already been with inside this is a you know we, we it, it can be hard to say, well, I want someone to love me. I want a life partner. I want to be with that person. And the way to attract that person is to love yourself um, or to be content with who you are. But, but most people aren't. Most people are always striving to do better, to, to um, improve something about them. They're just not happy with who they are. And then they go on this journey to discover who they are or discover more about themselves. And that is okay to do too. I mean, I, I went on that journey myself to discover who I was um, back in 2014 with, during my awakening. I'm like, there's more here. There's more for me to explore. There's more for me to go through. So this is maybe another awakening and we've seen that awakening affirmation card come up a couple different times already recently. And this awakening is, again, awakening us further to know who we are, to know how to take care of ourselves, to how to do self-love, how to balance the, the feminine and masculine aspects of ourselves. This guy here is juggling these two coins, trying to make a decision. If you make peace with yourself, and say, okay, I'm I'm going to land my ship right where I'm at, and then I'm going to take the time to get to know who I am and make make peace with my masculine feminine side of myself. It's going to be able to turn around that journey, and you'll know you already hold the cup of love for yourself, and that journey is going to be a lot more exciting. That journey is going to take you on an adventure that you've never gone before because this is the first time you're actually taking the time for yourself. So this is a message for really doing self-love, self-care, self-nurturing, really spending time with getting to know who you are right now so that that journey that you go on has no expectations of others. It can be, um, it could be new and, and exciting. I think that's kind of a great message. So let's see what 
the affirmations have to say. What message do the affirmations want to share with this reading? A lot fell out. I'm keeping one in my hand. I'm not taking these other ones that fell out. They're, they flipped over. All right, so it says balance, and that's what the Six of Cups is all about, is balancing and being at peace with your feminine and masculine side already within you. Heart and mind, body and soul, creative or calculated, masculine or feminine, did I not call that? Soft or strong, spirit or science, momentum or rest, sun or moon, summer or winter. What is life but a beautiful, delicious mixture of both? Perhaps it doesn't have to be one or the other. Perhaps we're, we were made to do some things, but then also everything, all in one. After all, the sun and moon exist together in the sky. It is simply our perspective that keeps us from seeing both at the same time. Again, we're here to love all of our all of ourselves, and that is going to take getting to know who you are, both sides. So the peace, choosing to have peace, and then it's you know taking some time for yourself, both sides, masculine and feminine, balance. Great message. I hope this hope this helps you on your journey. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.